The U.S. State Department says nearly 1,000 U.S. citizens and their immediate family members have left Israel on government-chartered flights. President Biden is leaving Washington today with plans to visit Israel and Jordan. President Biden will underscore our crystal clear message to any actor, state or non-state, trying to take advantage of this crisis to attack Israel. Don't. This morning, many of the millions of people in Gaza are still looking for a way out. Right now, the U.S. and Israel have agreed to develop a plan that will enable humanitarian aid from donor nations to receive civilians in the Gaza Strip. They've also talked about the possibility of creating areas to keep them out of harm's way. At last check, Gaza's border with Egypt remains closed to thousands trying to flee the war zone.